Hey, you guys, welcome. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. Thank y'all so much for joining for another reading. So I'm going to begin with the white cards and then I'm going to clarify that energy using the tarot and the oracle. Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? I hope you know just how prosperous you are. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have big hands. What I'm getting off the back here, Sagittarius, is that you're covered. Like something is covered. Like something will be taken care of for you. Okay. There could be something that you're worried about or that you're concerned about. But I feel like with these big hands, like you are covered. Hmm. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have a, a hairstyle, <laughs> okay? You could be getting your hair done, okay? Or something about your hair is changing or you're changing something about your style or your hair. Someone could be a hairstylist here. Hmm. Tell me more about this energy. the hairstyle for Sag. You have beliefs. Hmm. You could be changing your hairstyle or your hairstyle could be based off of some type of beliefs that you have. Your beliefs could be changing as well. Wow. Let's see. Tell me more. What happens after beliefs? substance yeah something is changing here about you sage someone could uh feel as though you've changed or someone feels like you're different you could feel like you're different you could feel like you've changed a lot and this could be affecting your physical appearance let's see tell me more what happens after substance happens after substance you have style so yeah it's a lot that's changing about you Sagittarius and I feel like it starts within here especially with beliefs coming out here in the center all right, something has changed about you, your style, and it starts with your beliefs, what you believe in, okay? You could have definitely transformed, okay, from the inside out is what I'm seeing here. This could have a lot to do with your faith here with Big Hands because I feel like you're covered, okay? With whatever you're doing, you're covered, you're protected, all right? So let's get deeper into these. Let's see what's coming out in the tarot. Very interesting. Okay, why is big hands here? Why is big hands here? You have strength. Wow. <laughs> like you are definitely covered, like and protected. I feel like this protection, you know, that's surrounding you, like you're strong. You're sh you have a lot of strength. Okay, um, someone could be protecting you. Someone could be very protective of you. But I also feel like this is spirit. Like this has a lot to do with your faith. Okay, whatever you believe in. Okay, um, I just I just see you having faith in something, or you're stepping out on faith. Okay, you could be concerned about something and how it may turn out. But I feel like something is going to turn out just fine. You have to have faith with this situation. Okay, why is strength here? Tell me more about strength with big hands. You could be connected to a Leo, okay? And I also feel like um, someone, I, I feel someone's wrapping their arms around you, their hands around you, like wanting to hold you, okay? Let's see. Hmm. There could also be a moment where it could be very emotional, 
uh, Sagittarius, uh, like there could be an embrace or a hug that you're having with somebody and it could be very, very emotional here. Okay, tell me more. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, whatever this is, it can be hard to walk away from. If this is dealing with uh, an emotional moment or, or a moment where like there's a hug or there's an embrace or um, I just feel I just feel like there's someone here in the physical who wants to protect you or is very protective of of you and it's hard for them or it's hard for you to like walk away from this let's see why is the ten of wands here keep pushing forward is what i'm seeing here keep pushing forward i feel like someone is like supporting you as you move forward or as you take something on something could feel heavy but it's like you're almost there like you're almost like to your destination sagittarius okay like you're about to achieve something that you've been wanting to achieve or get something that you've been wanting to get okay let's see why is the um why is the ten of wands here what is this dealing with? Okay, yeah, the high priestess. It's like you're almost there, uh, Sagittarius. You could know that you're almost like where you need to be, okay? Or you're getting close to something, okay? Yes, you're 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 getting close to like achieving something. You're getting close to getting exactly like what you need, okay? And it's taking a while to get here. Wow, okay. Tell me more about this high priestess energy. The seven of swords. So Sagittarius, it looks like you've had to like be very careful about who you tell certain things to or something like that. We haven't had the seven of swords come out in a little while. <laughs> so i'm feeling like um you could be thinking about this all right you have to be careful with like certain things that you tell or, or certain things that uh you you're telling someone a uh, certain knowledge that you're sharing with someone here someone could have used some type of information against you let's see tell me more about hairstyle i want to find out more about this energy in just a moment with this seven of swords tell me more about the hairstyle the three of swords so some of you could be changing your hairstyle or changing your look after a breakup too is what i'm seeing here or after some type of um heartbreak whether this is dealing with a, re a love relationship or not there was some type of betrayal or some type of third party situation where somebody interfered with something okay where there could have been an ending or there definitely could have been a heartbreak in love or there could have just been some type of devastating news and i also do feel like it's heartbreaking to walk away from some type of connection or someone here um someone definitely could be protecting you or you could be um you could be leaving someone or leaving behind something that, you know, you put a lot of time, energy, and effort into. And it, it creates a change here, especially with the hairstyle and the three of swords. And it's funny that this is coming out because, you know, they say like after a breakup or after like a life-changing event, you know, a lot of people, they tend to want to change their look or, you know, get a new item or their beliefs may change. Just a lot of things could change. And it's funny that the three of swords is here. So I'm feeling like there was a life-altering event, whether it's dealing with a, a romantic romantic breakup or just a, a life-changing situation like a transformation and it's caused you to want to make some type of changes here okay why is the three of swords here tell me more about this why is this here and i feel like it's heartbreaking for you to like walk away or for someone to uh, like see you leave or see you walk away because they have a lot of love for you someone has a lot of love for you you can have a lot of love for someone here Okay, tell me more about the Three of Swords. Yeah, the Two of Wands. Like, there's some type of different plans. It's like you're taking a different route. Um, You and someone could be going in a different direction. I do see someone missing you. Um, You missing someone. Yes, I see. I see this could be a, something difficult to walk away from. So you could be walking away from someone that you that you really love, even temporarily here. Tell me more. Why is the uh the three of wands, the two of wands here? The four of cups. 
yeah Sagittarius it looks like there's some type of there's going to be some type of distance or there's some type of distance between you and someone okay there could also be distance here between you and a water sign or air sign here because of some type of betrayal or because someone was gossiping about something here this could have been very heartbreaking let's see tell me more why is it uh four of cups here why is this here yeah the four of swords whoever this is they could want to call it a truce with you okay they could want to call it a truce with you sag but i definitely see you laying something to rest and not really putting your energy into into this or into something here because it's like maybe you regret telling someone something or working with somebody here because it's like whatever information you told them they could have used this against you okay tell me more about beliefs why is beliefs here something about your beliefs are standing out tell me more why is this here this could have definitely changed your beliefs and with beliefs being in the center, I just feel like um, this has a lot to do with whatever this is. Tell me more. You have the hangman. Yeah, this is about someone's perspective, okay? This is your perspective or others. Let's see. Tell me more. Why is the hangman here? Tell me more about this perspective. The ten of swords. Someone could have used your beliefs against you. Someone could have stabbed you in the back because of your beliefs. Wow. You could be connected to a Pisces. Heavy Pisces energy coming out here. Leo energy. You could be connected to any sign. But this could have something to do with family here with the Ten of Swords. Tell me more. Why is the Ten of Swords here with the hangman and beliefs? Death. Yeah, I feel like something transformed you. Um, this death energy, the Scorpio energy, this has a lot to do with a, a transformation, okay? Um, there could have been some type of betrayal when it comes to beliefs with your beliefs or someone else's beliefs. Someone had a, a particular perspective of you and your beliefs or how you lived your life, okay? And someone definitely could have betrayed you or hurt you Sagittarius because of your beliefs or because of their beliefs okay and something could have ended here there could have been a relationship that ended and I do feel like whatever this is is connected to the seven of swords with the high priestess someone could have used some type of information that they knew about your beliefs or that you share with them about your beliefs um against you okay tell me more this really transformed you it's, it made you see things a lot differently when it comes to like saying certain things okay let's see tell me more about death the six of pentacles and i really do feel like whoever this is like they want to like make something balanced or even like this person could be reaching out to you soon or this person could be offering to help you with something or to give you something okay and i'm not sure if you even want to accept this from this person but whoever this is i do feel like they want to call something a truce okay and they want to this could be an earth sign or a water sign here cancer pisces scorpio capricorn taurus virgo doesn't have to be but this is definitely showing that someone wants to like um for whatever they did or whatever they said regarding you Sagittarius um they want to like give you something in the physical like either monetary or they want to either offer you like some type of emotional support by helping you with something or giving you something in the physical and like i said with this ten of swords here it's like this is somebody that you could be connected to in your family or in a community and with this ten of swords here on top of this it's like I i'm not sure if you even want to accept this because it could have gotten so bad that you just cannot trust this person at all um this definitely could be dealing with family all right let's see tell me more about substance why is substance here okay you have the chariot so you're moving on you're moving forward with substance so a lot a lot has changed about you and and that's what i'm saying like you could be viewed as someone who 
who is just totally different now because a situation really changed you okay uh something that was very burdensome could have definitely changed you and i'm seeing this ten of wands here with the uh with the two with the two of wands and the ten of swords whatever your burdens were okay someone could have gossiped about your burdens okay or whatever or whatever heartbreak you was going through you could have uh, gone through a major heartbreak okay and you could have learned like who was who was truly there for you okay whatever someone knew about your burdens okay whatever you told or shared or whatever someone saw um someone could have definitely used those things against you at a time where you were transitioning at a time where you were um going through a transformation going through a death and a rebirth in your life okay and this could have definitely changed your beliefs or made you i feel like they could have made you um they could have strengthened your faith like whatever the situation is it definitely strengthened your faith and it gave you the the strength like to move forward um regardless of how difficult something is um i just see you believing in yourself more yeah believing in yourself more and just moving forward and this was very difficult for you to do wow tell me more why is a chariot here i just see you moving forward and you're taking your substance with you someone could have said that you didn't have substance or you know that there's just certain things about you that wasn't right or whatever like that but i feel like you're putting your attention elsewhere and you're moving forward sagittarius in in the most beautiful way oh look at that you have the tower to the sun when i uh cut the deck beautiful someone definitely could have like judged you or you know talked about your style okay talked about the things that you were going through i just see you going through a, a major tra transition in your life and you finding out like who's for you and who's not like whatever you've gone through someone could have used that against you and it brought a lot of things to the light here with the sun you could be connected to a leo or a scorpio all right um you could have this in your chart but i'm seeing here with the sun that you know something that was tragic has turned into something beautiful or or will something happy okay something uh some type of transformation some type of disruption has turned into a happy ending or is turning out better than you expect and i do feel like you're covered with these big hands i do feel like you're protected i do feel like someone like sees your light okay and they want to protect you okay let's see tell me more about the chariot here why is this here okay you have the three of ones so i see you looking for, looking towards the future okay it's look it looks like um you've made your plan and and now you are you are waiting for things to to be put into place for you okay as you move forward you could actually be moving as well okay you could be waiting to move or you could be waiting for some type of correspondence or message to come through um to give you the go on something let's see tell me more about the three of wands to the chariot why is this here yeah the ace of swords so it's like you could be waiting on some type of information or you're you're waiting to learn more about something so that you can move forward or you learned something and now now you're moving forward now you're putting you're starting to put action into this plan or into this motion okay tell me more there's some type of truth you could be waiting for some type of truth yeah through this transformation you definitely learned the truth about something it has led you towards the truth hmm. someone could be waiting for you to arrive or waiting for you to return as well or there's someone that you're waiting to like arrive someone could be arriving coming towards you let's see tell me more about the ace of swords the page of pentacles wow i see someone truly wanting to give to you or support you this could be more than one person and i see you taking something i do i see you taking something because it's an opportunity you see something as an opportunity tell me more about style someone really likes your style they feel like you have a lot of substance let's see tell me more Tell me more about style. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone is, is really infatuated with your style. I feel like whatever your style is, like it's giving what it's supposed to give, uh, Sagittarius. You could be very, very stylish. Okay, um, 
you could be some type of stylist, hairstylist or fashion stylist. But I'm also seeing here with the Ace of Cups, your style or like however you dress, it could just make you feel really good. Okay. Or you could just feel very comfortable in your natural style. Someone really likes this. Let's see. Someone wants to offer you a lot of love. Someone is showing you their style, the way that they love. Wow, someone likes the way that you love or the way that you give love. Tell me more. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Hmm. You could be running into love as you move forward. Okay. Wow, someone wants to give you love. Someone is waiting to give you love. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Oh my goodness, they are with the lovers. Oh my. Yeah, someone is waiting to give you love. Like someone is just waiting here with the three ones. Like someone is standing here waiting. And then there's like an overflow of love that's coming in. Um, Like you are just perfect. It's what I'm getting here with the style, with the Ace of Cups, the lovers. Like this is you and your natural, your the natural, however you are. Okay, in, in what in in whatever way that you feel comfortable being, um, someone loves it. You love it. Someone loves it. Just uh I uh I just feel a lot of love uh surrounding just you being naturally yourself, okay? You being authentic, okay? Tell me more. Why is this here? Why is the lovers here? There could be a choice. Okay, that you have in love. There's a choice that you have to make. Yeah, nine of cups. There's a choice that you have to make regarding love. Yep, justice. To balance something out. To walk away. To leave something behind. Yeah, someone is coming towards you. Someone is definitely coming to. Someone is choosing to. Wait a minute. Someone is choosing to come towards you, um, Sagittarius. Someone is choosing to come towards you. But someone wants to balance something out with you. Why is the lovers here? Why is this choice here? Why is this so important for Sagittarius to know? The Hermit. Oh my, you could be connected to a Gemini, a Virgo, a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Leo, a Cancer. It could be any sign, but what's standing out here is whoever this is. Someone has made a choice because they've learned the truth. They've learned their lessons. This could be you. You could be making up a, a choice here in love. Okay, this could have a lot to do with self-love as well. But there's definitely a choice. I did see the Nine of Pentacles. There's a choice. All right, tell me more about the Hermit. Why is the hermit here? The fool. Somebody wants to have a new beginning with you. There's an there's an option for you to have some type of new beginning. Okay. And this is not just about love, you guys. Um, about like a lover. This is also about you having a new beginning and falling in love with yourself all over again, falling in love with your life, with your situation all over again wow i just got really really emotional when i said that so this is a very strong message for i'm feeling like quite a bit of you some of you um this is exactly what you need is to just fall in love with your life with your style with your situation with your reality all over again and a lot of you are about to have that opportunity if if it hasn't been presented to you already and i feel like it's here you just have to tap into it to see the opportunity um to 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 truly just fall in love with yourself all over again and not just fall in love with yourself but fall in love with someone or with uh something that you you love to do um a passion of yours like there's a fresh new start there's a brand new start and it's bringing in a lot of passion um it's it's fulfilling you like emotionally it's emotional fulfillment and it's it's because of the lessons you learned it's because of the wisdom that you obtained from the past like you learned a lot of shit sad and now it's like you're getting the opportunity to incorporate that into a new beginning that you have whether that is just involving you and your passions or you and a lover or those that you love and you sharing this with others and those um 
that that are able to share something with you because with this ace of cups and this lovers this is not just about you um it starts with you but it's not just about you this is about you also being able to receive as well and you being abundant um and emotionally fulfilled wow that's very very intense let's get some love messages thank you spirit for these beautiful messages what does sagittarius need to know at this time okay you have a past life relationship give your relationship a chance you have known each other before work on your partnership there could be someone here who wants a new beginning with you. This could be someone that you've already been connected to. And like there's a brand new beginning. And I'm noticing here, you know how it's looking darker here around the two, around this couple. And over here, you have the angel wings. So I'm seeing like um, you could have definitely transformed or began to see like something differently, especially with the hangman here with the beliefs. OK, in the death, I do feel like there could have been a transformation between you and a lover or you and someone that you care about. And I do feel like it has a lot to do with this strength energy because someone is finding it very hard to like walk away from you. OK, or you walk away from them. OK, um, there has been some type of realization here is what I'm seeing here. Um, Sagittarius with these two cars, I'm seeing a transformation, something going from ve being very dark to being very light um, and incorporating the two. And wow, I just see that embrace. Look at that embrace, that hug. I do feel like there could be like some type of embrace where someone does not want to let go um of you of a connection of the sight of you okay there could be some type of travel that you're having to do too i see the two of ones and the three of ones so there could be some type of distance or uh travel let's see what does sagittarius need to know at this time tell me more what does sagittarius need to know at this time Someone definitely could, um, I did see that five of cups when I was splitting a deck. Um, someone definitely could be regretful about how they, uh, communicated with you here with the seven of swords and the high priestess. Someone knows that they could have done a better job or, you know, they could have been more sensitive to like how you felt or something like that with the four of cups. Let's see. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Okay, you have released your ex. Okay, so there is somebody here that you could be connected to. You could have a soul tie with. Okay, and look at that those angel wings again. The time has come to clear your energy. So there is someone that you may need to let go in order to embrace this new beginning or this new person or this new start in this relationship. Okay, and releasing your ex could have a lot to do with like you releasing like past energy too. This may not be a person. Okay, this may be um like memories of like past things like x shit that's not even a part of your current situation like with the seven of swords touching that i do feel like there could have been a lot of betrayal um here um in past situations that you could be bringing into a new connection and it's saying that you need to like release that because it could be causing you to um experience a broken heart okay let's see tell me more why is release your ex here Because whoever the ex is, I feel like they definitely could have been toxic or they had some traits about them that you have carried on or, you know, that you need to release because it's affecting like your other connections and how you interact with everyone else or something like that, Sage. So something about trust is standing out here to me. Like, learning how to trust all over again. I do see the seven of swords to the four of swords. Like, being able to rest. Like, right here, it's like, um, he's, like, on his feet. Like, he's having to sneak up. He have, he's having to walk on eggshells here. But with the four of swords, you have rest. I feel like this is going to be the outcome. Like, if you're able to release that, that past trauma or, you know, work on that. Okay? Because it's connected to a lot of heartbreak. Because I see you looking back at the past and how difficult it was or... You know, it is. And I feel like you're going to really be able to rest after you release and clear out this energy. Okay. Even if this isn't an actual person, it's like the energy, um, the, the, the experiences, like the trauma. Why is release your ex here? 
Why is release your ex here? Okay, it says it is safe for you to love. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So this is really like coming out very smooth because it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you could be holding on to like what this person did, what that person said, what you know about how that person betrayed you here with the high priestess because you know that you were done dirty or that you were betrayed here. And it was very difficult for you to like let something go. Okay, and I see you carrying this burden here. And I see a new hairstyle. So it's like you, you're carrying some type of burden or you're carrying some type of um, heavy load or thoughts into like something new, something that is supposed to be new and refreshed. Okay, so spirit wants you to know that it is safe for you to love okay your beliefs could be affecting something here you could not feel safe because of the betrayal because of some type of transformation it is safe for you to love and i'm seeing the six of pentacles someone wants to give to you someone wants you to have something um to support you okay it is safe for you to love it is safe for you to love others and it is safe for you to allow others to love you okay wow and i'm seeing this lady upon this horse and i'm seeing this guy standing here and it's like she's she's on this horse this horse is much more powerful than this man here i'm i'm sure right so i feel like she may feel safe you know on this horse okay and and maybe she does does maybe she feels more safe on the horse than she would to uh to be next to this this man or whatever this masculine so um, I feel like she has to make a decision here. She has to make a decision to either keep riding on the horse. <laughs> if y'all feel me, you are you catching the drift to keep riding on the horse? Or, you know what I'm saying, connect with this human being here, this masculine. Okay, and I feel like that's what's going on here. To either, like, not make a decision with the four swords or to actually put in action towards... Um, being given to or giving to or giving to someone okay so what i'm seeing here is that someone could be waiting for you to make a choice um and that's where that lovers is coming in at too it is safe for you to love someone someone could be patiently waiting and pursuing you okay this could be something that's coming in unexpectedly after a transformation or with the transformation okay let's see tell me more why is it is safe for you to love here why is this here why is this here for sage Okay, you have attraction. Oh, wow. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. <laughs> I do feel like there's someone who's very attracted to you. Um, They see your worth here with the page of pentacles. I do feel like you could be opening up or there's someone here who's opening up to you um, who wants to give to you. And I do see um someone expressing themselves letting you know the truth letting you know how attracted they are to you yeah I, I see someone opening i hear them opening up i hear them telling you i'm so attracted to you i'm waiting for you i'll be right here waiting for you okay wow and i see this chariot like there's a car pulling up or a bike or whatever motorcycle something someone is pulling up someone is waiting for someone to arrive all right wow there's a very strong attraction here in love that's coming through here. So you could have definitely released something. If you haven't already, I feel like you're you're about to or you're in the process of releasing um, either an actual ex-person or ex-memories, ex-trauma that's connected to like exes or past like situations or past just people in general. Okay, and once you release this, it, it allows for you to rest. It allows for you to be given to. It, it allows for you to, you know, be at ease when it comes to loving others and, you know, receiving that love in return here. Wow, this is beautiful. Let's see. Tell me more. Why is release your ex here? Why is release your ex here? Okay, 
Okay, you have change. Wow. And I did feel like there was a major change here with this hairstyle, okay? It says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So something definitely needed to be released here. There needed to be a change. And this change has a lot to do with you releasing old shit, okay? Um, everyone is not the same. People do change. You change. Um, we are constantly evolving. I feel like you made the decision to change something. Okay, with the three of swords, it has a lot to do with you releasing something, dealing with pain. Okay, um, I feel like this gives you this new beginning here with the food. Okay, this makes you more attractive, more abundant. All right, why is it is safe for you to love here for Sag? Why is this here? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Why is this here? People from your past could feel like you've changed here with release your ex. But you have changed. It looks like you've changed for the better. Tell me more. Why is it is safe for you to love here? You have empathy. Wow. It says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So, I do feel like someone wants to show you empathy, okay? You could be you could be a very empathetic person. Maybe you got hurt here. Ten of Swords. You got hurt here a lot. Um, someone wasn't in the past sensitive to how you felt when it came to something here. And you could have just closed yourself off, okay? It says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Both of these cards talks about being open. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So I see that you and someone could be discussing something or there could be like a very like emotional conversation that really sheds light on a betrayal or sheds light on something. And it really allows you to heal. Wow. Someone is showing you a lot of love, a lot of care. Someone is being very sensitive to you after a betrayal okay there could be someone coming in to show you a lot of a lot of love and care and tlc after um a heartbreak or after some type of betrayal you, you deserve this and you may not feel like it's safe because someone in your past that maybe claimed to have a lot of empathy and love for you betrayed you or hurt you or said some hurt, very, very hurtful things, okay, about how they view you, how they see you, like the truth could have came out here regarding like how someone views you, okay, this could have been very hurtful to you, uh, Sagittarius, and I feel like whoever this is that's coming in, or whatever opportunity this is that's coming in, it allows for you to feel like more safe, okay, wow, tell me more, why is attraction here, there's someone who's highly attracted to you, Okay, and someone really admires like how you move forward. They admire how you how you stand in your truth here with the Ace of Swords. Okay, I see you being patient for something. I see you waiting for some information so that you can take some type of action and so that you can um, expand on um, an opportunity or expand on a blessing that you're getting. Okay, tell me more about attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Like someone admires like you, just you being you. I see you just being naturally yourself. And like someone definitely could be like envious of this or jealous of this. Um, especially if they haven't tapped into their truth yet. So Sagittarius, keep that in mind. Okay. I do see the Ten of Swords here. All right, and I I see you being attractive just by being yourself. Okay, Sage, so standing in your truth here with the Ace of Swords. All right, this is about the truth, and the truth is you look good. The truth is you got it going on. The truth is you are attractive. The truth is your mind, you're very wise. The truth is you move forward. You don't let anything hold you back, Sagittarius. And if it do, it's only for a second. You're only down for a second here with the Ten of Swords, and then you're back at it because um you have to keep pushing. And the truth is is Sagittarius there's no reason for you to stay down too long here is what I'm seeing I'm seeing you getting right back up and pushing forward and someone admires this someone feels like this is so attractive and it has a lot to do with this because it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully you're not enjoying this moment fully if you're laying here with this ten of swords in your back 
you're only enjoying this moment fully is when you're moving forward here with the chariot okay and you're persevering you're persevering regardless of any betrayal you're persevering regardless of anything that could slow you down you're steadily moving forward even if you're slowed down and this is very very attractive tell me more about attraction okay you have success yes and this is how you get success sagittarius by not letting something keep you down by steadily moving forward it says i know that there is no greater goal than to love okay someone wants success with you you could want success within yourself this is you loving yourself okay sagittarius this is very very beautiful very intense energy okay i see you getting some type of success as you move forward yes okay something that could seem small to someone else is a major opportunity for you here with the page of pentacles okay you're attracting some type of success to you and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful outcome sagittarius here with style all right wow very intense messages coming through what does sagittarius need to know at this time i hope y'all are enjoying the messages that are coming through make sure you drop me a comment down below thumbs up this video and subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already if you're enjoying how i read so let's see what does sagittarius need to know at this time okay you have the last quarter moon in capricorn leave the past behind oh my goodness this is what we're talking about this is so beautiful so so beautiful you could be connected to a capricorn i see a virgo aries gemini in the tarot cancer pisces leo in the tarot okay you could be connected to any signs um but this is about you leaving the past behind this is about you making a change here okay you have released your ex okay ex things ex situations not just an ex human being or ex person but um those memories that are connected to things that where it keeps cycles going in your life sagittarius that keeps you stuck that keeps you feeling heartbroken that keeps you looking at a certain perspective or or having a certain perspective and that perspective of leading you to the three of swords and the ten of swords wow leave the past behind and i'm seeing this man here or this lady or whoever it looks like a lady yeah she's walking away she's leaving the past behind her and i'm seeing this big moon here and you know the moon this is the moonology deck so this has a lot to do with you emotionally leaving things uh behind okay mm. let's get one more i want to get one more that's beautiful leave the past behind Tell me more okay you have the last quarter moon in taurus be proud of yourself for leaving this shit behind you've done the right thing okay and you're gonna feel better is she sitting no she not sitting down you see what i mean you see how he's walking away in the seven of swords and she's walking away in the last quarter moon in capricorn and look at her last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. And she's sitting her ass down. And it looks like she's holding like something in her hand. Like she's resting. Just like the four of swords. So you're going to be able to sit down. Lay down. After having to walk a very difficult road. Or go through something difficult. I'm seeing the ten of wands here. Beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay, let's clarify these. Last quarter moon in Capricorn, last quarter moon in Taurus. You could be connected to a Capricorn or Taurus. You could have these uh, placements in your chart. All right. Let's see. Tell me more about the last quarter moon in Capricorn. Why is this here? Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. You have the owl with observation. It says you are being encouraged to look beyond deceiving appearances into the true reality of a situation or a person's motives. You need to hear what is really being said despite the words and emotions coming from the messenger. So someone here could be trying to communicate something to you. 
And this requires for you to observe the situation and not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Deceiving appearances. I'm seeing this hairstyle here. So something could look like what is not Sagittarius. It says you need to hear what is really being said, despite the words and emotions coming from the messenger. Wow. And this could go both ways. I am seeing the seven of swords. This could go both ways. So what I'm seeing here, Sag, especially with leaving, leaving the past behind, change, evolving, releasing the ex and all of this, this all talks about releasing something here. So I feel like some type of thoughts are outdated. Okay. Um, some type of thoughts are outdated here. They old as fuck. Okay. Sagittarius. So it's important for you to observe a situation, is observe others, especially here dealing with love is what, what I'm seeing here. Love or any other situation. But I'm definitely seeing love here, all right, with release your ex. Wow, I feel like you're in a new, you're in a new phase of your life. So it's time for you to observe, to, to take different notes here, to look at something differently. Because this is about wisdom as well with the owl. The owl holds a lot of wisdom. It's about you looking at something differently. Hmm. Tell me more about the last quarter moon in Taurus. Why is this here? The last quarter moon in Taurus. Okay, you have the peacock with self-love. You leaving the past behind is you loving yourself, Sag. It says you will find great power in focusing on the positive aspects of yourself that which makes you indefinitely, indefinitely unique and beautiful. There are deep wells of untapped inner power in letting go of negative self-talk. I do feel like there could have been like a cycle. Someone betrayed you or multiple people betrayed you here. This could have been family, friends, lovers, whoever. Okay, and... It could have happened so many times, Sagittarius, that you started to believe that this was an ongoing thing. But there are good people in the world, is what I'm seeing. There are good people in the world. And so you letting go of this these past emotions that are connected to those betrayals, it allows for you to love yourself deeper and to also be loved here with um, with the peacock. So make sure you you are observing things because with leave the past behind you have the owl here with observation. You need to you need to be able to differentiate whether or not you, what you're observing is past shit. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Is this some past things that are coming up as I observe, or is this right now? Is this happening right now? And would be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself for being able to know the difference is what I'm seeing. Because this creates a well of self-love. All right. Tell me more. What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? The Sagittarius need to know. You have 31. I am disciplined. It says, your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stern with creative ideas and you have the organization skills to manifest them to life. So I see you being disciplined enough or becoming disciplined enough to leave the past behind you so that you can achieve your goals and, and make your dreams a reality. All right, tell me more. You could be born December 3rd, December 1st, November 23rd, December 4th, November 24th. Tell me more. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? You have 1111 with I am awakening. It says the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. So Sagittarius, I see you could be waking up to the fact that there are people that are being brought into your life at the right time in the right moments to help you. Okay, to help you get to this emotional fulfillment here with the Ace of Cups. Wow. 
someone definitely could want to connect with you and i also see that there is someone here who's awakening to you okay there's someone here who's awakening to how they feel about you as well hmm someone could be awakening to to uh their own beliefs or their own perspective regarding you as well here tell me more what does Sagittarius need to know you have a lot of success here because of some changes that you made okay you have the number four with I am stable okay it says you bring stability and rationality to any situation you are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend partner and colleague and I do feel like someone definitely could want to collaborate with you work with you because you are stable okay and you are dependable okay you're a dependable friend lover and colleague here you're very attractive you're attracting some type of success to you that is going to create a lot of stability for you Sagittarius beautiful this is amazing let's get some signs and some planetary energy the Sagittarius needs to know at this time okay you have Scorpio you have Cancer let's get one more heavy water sign Signs. Scorpio and Cancer energy. You have the eighth house and the fourth house. You could um, be faced with some type of situation dealing with your family that's very emotional. I definitely see a transformation in your home or in your family. Let's get one more. Okay, you have Aries. Okay, it's about you taking some type of action, taking the lead. I see you taking the lead with something. Tell me more about Scorpio. Why is Scorpio here? Why is Scorpio here? You have specters with discernment, critical thinking, and insight. So this is about you using your, your intuition. I feel like you're very emotionally intelligent. Or, or this is this has increased here because you've walked away because you've left something in the past hmm like you have a lot of insight about something like your intuition is very very strong here with this Scorpio and Capricorn energy because you've left something in the past you gained a lot of wisdom tell me more about cancer why is cancer here? Could be connected to a Scorpio, Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus, Aries. Why is cancer here? Your emotions are being balanced out here because you've left some things in the past or you're leaving some things in the past that don't align with your current situation or what you're trying to manifest tell me more about cancer you have faith wow hope inspiration and rejuvenation here okay your home could be being rejuvenated your family could be being rejuvenated there's a lot of hope dealing with the family situation something will become very stable or is, is becoming very stable here it's because of your faith i see you praying okay you could be praying over your home over your family okay your foundation or your stability okay uh wow something is going to be very beautiful here your home um you're, you're very inspiring you're doing something very inspirational okay i see someone either praying for you you're praying for someone very very intense energy here tell me more about aries why is aries here i see you taking the lead like you're definitely taking the lead in something it's like you're in this energy of not like waiting anymore like you're taking action let's see tell me more about aries You have the blood moon. It says illusion, uncertainty, and narcissism. <laughs> wow. And then you have Aries. And Aries is also about the self, too. So I feel like with this being here, Sagittarius, you're definitely taking the lead. I feel like you're believing in yourself. Yeah, I, I see you believing in yourself. And like with this illusion here, this illusion and uncertainty. And like I said, you may not know like what's next. I do feel like you're stepping out on faith because you don't know what's next. 
All right, you don't know. It's like you're you're taking you feel like you could feel like you're taking some type of risk, especially with the food here. You could feel like you're taking some type of risk. Um, but it looks like you're you're truly stepping out on faith and trying to believe in yourself, okay? And you could not really um be able to tell whether or not something isn't an illusion. I want to clarify this to get more clarity for you guys. Let's see. I want to know more about this leadership because i feel like you're taking the lead in something like okay let's see tell me more about this blood moon with aries Okay, you have the casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation, okay? So you could actually be losing someone or you've lost someone, okay? Or, you know, something definitely could have ended, all right? This casket could definitely be you, like, being renewed, okay? And just feeling better about yourself. I do see this narcissism here. So um, you could have a different perspective of yourself. Let's see. You have the butterfly, a change for the better. Like something is changing for the better here with this blood moon and this Aries, okay? Um, something going out of your life or someone leaving your life, okay? This could be someone that caused you a lot of problems, caused you a lot of heartbreak as well. Like this could be like a separation or a breakup or whatever or, you know, a nuisance. Just someone that, you know, didn't treat you fairly. And this doesn't have to necessarily be like a friend, lover, or family member. This could just be someone who bothered you. Okay, and this could be a change that's for the better. Whatever the situation is that's ending here, it's for the better. Like, from the casket to the butterfly, all right? Okay, and you have a shark. Take care, or there will be a loss of material wealth. Hmm. So I'm also seeing here with this illusion, uncertainty, and narcissism, there could be something happening with your money. Maybe you're thinking about investing into something that you're unsure about here financially. All right, let's see. You have the egg, success assured with gold, with good plans and hard work. So it's like, okay, um, whatever you're investing into or whatever you could be concerned about, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like it could turn out really good as long as you make hardcore plans okay and you work hard at it then it's not going to be a waste of time but if you're just kind of like um what's the word winging it something then that may not be the best way to go about it you know there may be a chance of you you losing more than, than you will gain in this situation because i see you taking the lead in something it's like you're trusting in in your intuition on something so let's see you have the x forces working against you Okay, and I see that. And I feel like that has a lot to do with this illusion or this uncertainty here. Hmm. Tell me more about the X. Okay, you have the rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Hmm. Huh. This blood moon could be someone else that's showing up in your energy. Someone who's trying to work against you, work against self, work against like whatever you're trying to pursue. Okay, you have happiness. This has a lot to do with you being happy. Someone could be trying to interfere with your happiness. Okay, wow. Or disturb your success. Okay, and you have the well with great worry over nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So um, there could be some someone or situation that's ending in your life. That is going to make things a lot better for you. And I'm also seeing that with this illusion, uncertainty, and narcissism, you could be feeling, you could just be worried that something is not going to work out. Or you could be going back and back and forth with your faith. Something requires for you to have faith because something is going to end very happy for you. And you're going to realize that you were worried over nothing here like you were literally worried over nothing like maybe this is like things that are popping up or these are thoughts you could feel like someone is working against you okay you could feel like you're gonna lose your material possessions okay and it could be due to like someone betraying you in the past in these ways okay and these could be your thoughts popping up creating illusions around whatever you're taking the lead on because you're going towards happiness and that's exactly what's here with your style so i feel like it's important for you to be able to differentiate 
here um with the scorpio energy discernment critical thinking and insight what's past <coughs> excuse me what's past and what's now and what's future beautiful i feel like you're going to be able to do that i feel like you're going to be able to realize that some of the worries that you've had had has been because you've been emotionally connected to past situations emotionally and mentally connected to past situations so sagittarius what a beautiful beautiful reading i wish you guys the very best of luck moving forward with these situations i love you guys and i'll see y'all in the next reading